hello hello everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new i have got three super easy and delicious crock pot recipes to share in today's video let's go ahead and get started For the first one, we are starting off by cooking up our ground beef with some peppers and onions, and I also seasoned that with Badia Complete. You just want to cook that till no longer pink and drain the grease. Once your meat is cooked, you're going to add that to your slow cooker. For this recipe, I found this McCormick's Chili Cook-Off Philly cheesesteak seasoning. I found this at Ollie's. I picked up two packages when I found it the first time. I just followed the directions for the um, recipe on the back. Now the recipe for this one was a stovetop recipe, but I was like, why could you not do this in the crock pot? So I just added everything in and put it in the crock pot. You're going to um, add your ground beef with your peppers and your onions and then I added in two packets of that seasoning mix. I added in my water. It called for some milk and it also called for a jar of cheese whiz which I didn't have any but y'all always know I keep Velveeta cheese sauce on hand so I added in two packages of this Velveeta cheese sauce. I gave everything a stir and let it cook on a low for six hours. I did stir it um, throughout the day just to make sure that the cheese wasn't burning um, but y'all this is so good I'm telling you I've already raved over this on Instagram on how good it was and I already went back to Ollie and picked up five more packages Here is what it looks like when it is all done. Like I said, I did stir it throughout the day to make sure that it didn't burn. Now on the back of the package where the chili recipe was, it said that you could serve this in bread bowls or over french fries, or I think it would either be good on a baked potato with some extra cheese. Um, I decided to try and make homemade bread bowls and um, I didn't film that because it was the first time me trying that recipe and I wanted to double check and make sure that it came out right. Um, so the future, I will definitely film that, but I will have the recipe linked down below that I used to make those because they turned out delicious and I don't know what it was, but with the homemade bread and this chili, it was absolutely delicious, y'all. I'm telling you, it was so good. I just topped it with some cheese, popped it in the oven, let that melt for a couple minutes, and it was so, so good. We are getting dinner going in the crock pot. I have got a good size hunk of a pork loin. I purchased a large one and I just cut it up into three separate chunks. I'm gonna leave it as is. There is some fat around it, but it'll cook down. So I'm just gonna put it in there. I'm gonna season it well. I'm using Medea Complete, but you use whatever your family enjoys. Now, I do kind of have a version of this typed up for you guys, but I normally do it with um, the um, pork tenderloins. And since I'm using what I got, we're using a pork loin instead of a tenderloin. So I will have that recipe linked down below. 
if y'all are interested in that. So um, I've got a cup of water here in this uh, measuring cup. I'm gonna add in one can of cream of mushroom with roasted garlic. This is my first time trying this one and I am super excited. So I'm gonna add it in. <clears throat> I'm adding it into the water. And then I have a packet of chicken gravy. I'm adding into the water. And a packet of brown gravy. And I'm just mixing that together. And then we're just going to pour it over the pork loin. And I'm just gonna put the lid on it and let it cook on low for six to eight hours. To go along with our pork, I'm gonna do some mashed potatoes. Y'all already know this is my all-time favorite crock pot side dish. They're so easy to put together. So I have washed, peeled, and chopped my potatoes. I'm going to cover them with water. I will have this recipe linked down below. And then you're going to season it up. Don't be scared. Salt. Pepper. Garlic powder. And onion powder. Now I have the chicken bouillon powder. So that's why I use water. Um, so I'm going to make my own chicken broth. But if you don't have the chicken bouillon, you can just use regular chicken broth or chicken stock, whatever you have, whatever you keep on hand. Um, but I like to keep this. It's cheaper and it's, you know, longer shelf life. And it's, it doesn't take up as much shelf space either. So I like to keep either the cubes or the powder on hand. And then we're just going to put the lid on it, cook these on high for about four hours. Here is what the pork looks like once it is all done. And then here are the potatoes. I'm just going to drain those. I did take the pork out of the crock pot, put it on a cutting board and sliced it up. It was like falling apart. It was so tender. I'm just going to drain my mashed potatoes or my, drain my potatoes to make mashed potatoes. While your potatoes are draining, you want to add in your dairy and add in your bread butter. Just keep your crock pot on warm and kind of let that heat up a little bit. They whip so much better if your dairy is warm through. Then you will add your potatoes back in. I like to hand mash mine. I season with extra salt and pepper if needed. And I put a couple tablespoons of butter on top till ready to serve. I just served up some green beans and I made a Pillsbury recipe that I will be sharing in Friday's video. Here is the pork and the mashed potatoes. This was absolutely delicious. Highly recommend trying pork in the crock pot. It's super easy and always comes out tender. 
and that is it y'all i really hope you enjoyed today's crock pot recipe video i hope it gave you some inspiration to get your crock pots out and let it do the work i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one bye guys